everybody, Nick Arnett, another episode of Cool People I Know or Meet. And I met a great guy, John. Jumbo. Hi. Friends, this is the first international episode all the way here in Africa. Where are we, John, in Africa? We are in Masai Mara in Kenya. Mm. Masai. Masai Mara National Park. And are we, uh, this is the, called the Conservancy, is it? Yeah, this is a conservancy area, and Masai Mara actually is the pride of Kenya in terms of the wildlife. Yeah, for good reason. John has been awesome. We got here, I think, on Friday, and this has just completely exceeded my expectations. Uh, you, you found us, what do we have? Cheetahs and lions and leopards and uh, elephants, elephants and lions. Plenty of lions and, and yeah. vultures and oh, just amazing. Hyenas. Hyenas, too, of course. <laughs> so, this is a I didn't really think these things existed. I mean, I saw all the documentaries and then you see it in real life. It's just unbelievable. We're here at a sunrise. John's just awesome. So how did you decide this is what you wanted to do? Um, first, I, it, was not my, 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 no, it wasn't my career, but uh, I was introduced to it and uh, I got interested in it. It's an interesting kind of career. Every time meeting with new friends, making friends, seeing these animals in different in different actions somebody comes and uh, because uh, nick when nick came here he wanted to see a leopard and, <laughs> and we were lucky to get two leopards which were breeding a male and a female and got very close to us and nick and michelle were very close to it and they took good photos and i was happy about that yeah i'll, I'll include a little a few yeah. clips here well, is it, now what are your days like doing this job? Uh, normally we start very early in the morning. I have to be up by 5 so that I can prepare because uh, the morning safari starts at 6.30. That is the time now the cats haven't gone back to their hiding place or sleeping place. We do 6.30, come back from, for breakfast. Then we break, there's another safari the same day in the afternoon at 3.30 up to 6 30 or 7 o'clock so that's how i spend my day when i'm working and uh, in between i get uh, my off days i relax and then back i hit back to the work well deserved though those yep. days yeah what do you do i mean you, you start your day at 5 a.m yeah and you're probably not done till about 8 p.m yes. and you're on the clock the whole time working yes uh, oh, oh, and uh, it, sometimes it's tough, especially when it's wet in Masai Mara. It's, uh, it's, it's really a challenge to us because we need to drive. There's no way you'll, well, we'll come all the way from <laughs> California, from US, and we, I tell you we cannot drive because it's wet. We have to tweet the road because you need to see the animals. And uh, it's, part of, it's part of the safari. It's fun. When it's wet, you, we get stuck. You help me push. And, and uh, at the end of it, you, it's, it's, you enjoy. Right. Yeah. And you studied. You went to college for this, too, didn't you? You have to go to college for, to do the flora and fauna, know about the plants, know about the animals, the behaviors, because uh, you can talk of a lion, but lion has a lot, of, a lot of history behind it. So you have to know everything about gestation periods. You have to know how the size of the territories, how they behave when they come across other uh, strange lions. So it's not, it's not a matter of telling you this is an elephant, that's all. I have to know what is behind the elephant. I have to tell you really what is about, about the elephant. Then uh, in between we get, uh, when, when we are on our lower seasons, when we are not very busy, we do refresher courses. We, go out, we have to go back to college for maybe possibly for one month and refresh yourself. Because things are changing now and then, right? So you have to do a bit of uh, refresher courses. And you love it? I do love it. I do love it. That's why I work many hours and I'm not mm. tired. Awesome. Yeah. And you do other things. You're you're also a pastor, right? Yeah, I do pastoring in our church. We have a church in the in the hotel. Uh, normally, every day we we which which is not very common in hotels, especially in in Masai Mara. There are other hotels, but they don't have a church. But us, we, we, we are lucky. Our management is part of the church, so there's no friction about it. How about that? Love yeah. it. So how do people find you, John? 
Okay. You, know, you got to get him. If you're coming here, <laughs> you may, he'll make your trip worthwhile. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll, I have my emails. Uh, my email is John Zioki. G, uh, John Zioki 51 at Gmail. I'll put it right there. I'll make sure you all can read that, okay? Yes, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll allow you. Gotta get him. Yes. We are all welcome to Kenya. And that's the the, the Fairmont, uh, what do we call the uh, the resort? This is Fairmont Masai Mara. Fairmont Masai Mara Safari Club. And here's one of the big advantages of staying here. This is the conservancy, and if I understood John correctly, they they can go off the road to get closer to the the wildlife. Where if you're in the national park, you have to stay on the main road. Yes. So you, unless you have a great lens, you're going to be really far. But we got right up on. I'm going to show you some clips of some of the things that we saw, literally 10 feet away from leopards, right in front of you. Right, I mean, right in front of you, right? Yes. Yeah. Which you cannot do in the reserves or the national parks because the conservancy is owned by the locals, so they allow us to do a bit of. Uh, off-roading, but we are still careful about doing the off-roading because sometimes you get the newborn uh, animals, so you just just don't drive off-road without uh, watching where you are going through because uh, also there are birds which have their heads on the necks on the grounds, so you have to still drive very careful I and keep the recommended distance between you and the, the animals. You are very respectful, and even of each other, of the other guides, you help each other out. It's amazing if they find something like the, the lions, they'll tell the others, hey, there's lions at this certain place, and, and everybody's very cool, and people aren't making any noise. People are very respectful here. But friends, seriously, the conservancy is the way to go. So, And we didn't even know. We just got so lucky we got here, and that happened to be the, the case. It was not the National Park. So really lucky. So now you know you're welcome, everybody, for watching, because uh, that's going to help you a lot. If you're going to come all the way here, yeah. you might as well get like the full-on experience. Uh, when, when are the times that the like different times that are good to be here less crowded more crowded can you tell us that okay we have uh, high seasons and low season our low season is between april and may then we start rolling in june we start rolling slowly back to business but from july because of the great migration we are full we are busy because we have to do the migration. We normally do a whole safari in the mo from the morning. You have breakfast and we leave. The whole day we are out. We just drive to where they, they, they do the crossing. I think you've seen them crossing the river, being a crocodile, uh, going for the world beast yeah. or zebras in water. That's what we do. So if you come here in July, August, I'll make sure you, you have a chance of seeing that. I might have to come back and see that. You're yeah. welcome. Only if I can get you, though. <laughs> Only. Because when we talk of migration, there is a crossing and there is a migration. The crossing is when they are crossing Mara River. You've seen that. And now when we talk of the migration, it's when now they are grazing on the fields. It's millions and millions of the wild bees and zebras. They migrate from Tanzania to Masai Mara. And then we stay with them here until from October, then they they head back to Serengeti. They will have breeded here in, in those two months. And given eight months gestation period, they are expected to deliver in Serengeti in March. Wow, they're on a timetable. Yeah. This is February 5th, by the way. We're, we're, it's normally not as green as it is. It is, it is uh, because uh, we, have just, we are normally supposed to have just rolled out of the, our short rains in December. And January and February we expect to be sunny, so it gives now the nature of the savanna, the brown savanna land. But uh, due to climate change, the patterns are changing of our rains. So this time it's rainy. It's, uh, it's very green. You can, as you can see, it's very yeah. green. Yeah, yeah, good. good and be for happy everybody. about that. There's food for the animals. So John, what would you like to tell people there about maybe a philosophy of life, something that would make their life better? A way you live it, because you're a very positive person, very calm. What? How do you tell people there something about life that would make their, make them, have a better day every day, or keep a good attitude? Ah, uh, just to live knowing that there's tomorrow, there's tomorrow for them, and uh, trust in God, as I do. I have peace of mind and peace of my heart, and uh, I have a family. I have one wife, three children, two boys and a girl. And we live as a happy family. Although we live, they are far back at home. I have to work here. 
but I often go there when I get my off days. And, uh, and uh, that's, right. I have to work to make them leave. Mm. Where, how far is home from here? Well, it's about uh, driving, it will take me about six hours. If you use flight to Nairobi, uh, because from here to Nairobi is 45 minutes, given another 30 minutes or 40, about two hours I'll be at home if I fly. But if I have to drive, then not less than six yeah. hours. Okay. Well, you're a good driver. So Thank you. no doubt you'll never get stuck. Yeah. <laughs> you went some things. So Nick, do you hope to come again? I'm coming back. Uh, uh, it, and uh, there was another experience here that you took us to the the village yesterday. The Maasai village. The Maasai village. And that, Maasai that to me, uh, I think has changed my life, friends. So that you'll probably be seeing more about that. But I, I don't think I'll ever be the same after that. Yes. So I might start crying if I talk about that. <laughs> but honestly, yeah. I, mean, I am deeply moved by that. So everybody. Wow, the, the first international edition of Cool People, hopefully not the last. Until next time, everyone, from the Masai Mara Conservancy in Masai Mara, Kenya, everybody, be cool.